Pradeep Mahor, over and above the fact that it's not correct, you know, this the, and the kind of international reportage, I don't know if you've seen the kind of reportage that has happened in several of the international media outlets, you know, this brings disrepute to our nation and our parliament as a whole. It's not about any political party. It is about the definitely, institution definitely. at the end of the day. Hmm, definitely. Even Mahua Matra using H words. And we have seen similar kind of incidents earlier as well. But surprisingly, this is the first time in the history of Indian parliament that a political party whose leader or MP has spoken such a language, the party itself is taking such an action wherein show cause notice has been issued by the BJP and Rajna Singh, she apologized on behalf of uh, the parliamentarian so this is this is a uh, uh, some kind of what I, uh, I should say is this is the lead by an example i mean they, the bjp is trying to lead by an example so earlier if this has been i mean uh, even people who are criticizing how many of them have uh, you know opposed the words of stalin now we all heard what Stalin said. I mean, it was you know, out of the parliament. You know, definitely. You know, there is, there is. You know, that's exactly what I'm trying to say over here. There are hate speech examples. There are hundreds of examples that are completely undesirable. Action can be taken legally speaking on them. You know, uh, Pradeep Mahor. But the point is, this is happening inside the house. This is happening on the fourth day of a new parliament's inauguration. You know, that is something that makes this an extremely despicable and an extremely unfortunate incident. I see many hands going up, but I want Shoaib Chaudhary to come in. Shoaib Chaudhary, kya un ke tulna isse ho sakti hai? can we compare the other instances of hate speech, of unfortunate language? Of course, our political language is perhaps at its lowest nadir today. You know, the kind of language that has been used, and I would not spare any side. It is the ruling party, even several opposition leaders have to take the blame. But this happening inside our parliament, you know, we should all hang our heads in shame. And end of the day, the fact that we are seeing this action taken, you heard Pradeep Mahar saying that the defense minister has apologized, expressed regret, however you choose to call it, and a notice has been issued to this individual. Shoaib Chaudhary. Madhav, I'm speechless today. Ever since I've, I've uh, been watching this news, uh, Ramesh Vidhudi's uh, a speech in the parliament, I being a Muslim of this country, who was born and brought up here in my many generations for hundreds and thousands of years, have lived in this country, I feel so ashamed of myself. I am in such loss of words, I cannot, I have nothing to say today. All right, all right, all 